Hi, I'm Fraser. And I'm Ree. And we're going to be doing an energy assessment of this community building in Ashburton. Hello, I'm Michael. I work at Woodlanders Kindergarten. Um, we're a preschool in Ashburton and we cater for children from two years old to five years old. It's a quite a cold building really. I mean, in the winter you can really tell how cold it is. There's a suspended ceiling which has got limited loft insulation, so we're gonna look at how that might be improved. These windows are just very, very old. They haven't really been touched since about 1950, I think, and uh, they're now rotten through. There's definite possibility for solar PV on the roof here. It's a great orientation, and there's no shading from any surrounding buildings. It is next to a Grade 2 listed building, so it might not be allowed. But if it is, it's also something the community could invest in. So now we're going to do the blower door test. Essentially what we're doing is sucking air out of the building to measure how leaky it is and we'll use the thermal imaging camera and also the feel of the air on our hands to see where the leaks are coming from. You can see a gap in the wall there and so that's, that's creating a place for the cold air to sort of come in through the property. The floor's not sort of fitting properly with the wall. You can see cold air's coming in through there there we can see it all along all along the, 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 the join. On a lot of these doors you know that's that's really thin wood and yes. it just leaks heat and it leaks air <laughs> and, 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 and everything. Oh uh, look there's a big gap in the in the building fabric just here. There's a small preschool we don't have that much money to to um, you know to carve to the buildings. I hope it will give us evidence to um, get funders to give us some grants to insulate the building better. So now we've completed our energy assessment for Woodlanders Preschool and we've got loads of recommendations for them. Number one, they've got two brand new boilers but they don't have any thermostats so installing those would help cut down the heating bill significantly. Number two, their loft doesn't have enough insulation in it and it can be increased to 300 mil. Number three, they've got lots of large cracks and vents in the building which are letting the heat escape so they could be sealed very cheaply and easily. And number four, they have this lovely unshaded roof which they can put solar PV or solar thermal on. The only issue is that they're next to a grade two star listed building so they need to speak with their local planning authority. And there are lots of other issues. They could do with secondary glazing, more efficient lighting and they need to think more about the way that the building is used and making sure things are switched off.